Hello, this is Mr. Wynn again with part two of the Algebra 2, part two, uh, DCA 2 review. We just finished number four, so we're now to number five. Number five is a lot of reading, but it's not that hard. So here we have two people that submit models of roller coaster tracks. The height of the first person, Andy's model, at any time is that equation, that cubic equation. The height of the second person's model at any given time is that quartic equation. Now they said if Andy's model is higher than Brian's, the first person's equation is higher than the second person's equation, find the difference in height. Well, if mine's higher than the other one, then you have to subtract them. They literally just want you to do h of t, the first one, of Andy, minus h of t, the second one, of Brian. So I call this the h a of a h of Brian. So this is really just a parentheses minus parentheses problem. I that has all that fancy writing. So this is going to be parentheses uh, 5.3t cubed plus 2.5t squared minus 8t plus 3. Minus, we're subtracting difference, negative 0.75 t to the fourth power plus 2t cubed minus 5t squared. And I'm running out of room, so let me scoot this all over to the left. Um, my, uh, plus 2.7t minus 6. Just like four, we just figure out do the parentheses matter? The first one doesn't do anything, so I'm gonna drop it. I'll leave everything exact exactly the same. Three five point three t cubed plus two point five t squared minus eight t plus three. The second one does matter. It's a negative one right here. So I distribute this negative one to all of these. There's five of them in there, that's fine. So negative times negative is positive, positive point seventy five t to the fourth power. Negative 2t to the third power, positive 5t squared, negative 2.7t plus 6. Combine like terms. Let's go in order of uh, highest exponents. I see x to the fourth power right here. There's nothing else with so t to the fourth power, I mean. So it's going to say like that, 0.75t to the fourth. Now here's uh, t to the third power. Here's t to the third power. That's 5.3 minus 2. 5.3 minus 2 is positive 3.3 with the t to the third power. All right, then I do the square terms. Here's uh, t squared. Here's t squared. 2.5 plus 5, that's 7.5 with t squared. Then here is plain old t. Plain old t. Negative 8 minus 2.7. That's going to be negative 10.7 with the t. And this is the constant term, uh, I'll do like this, I guess. 3 plus 6, 3 plus 6 is 9. That is the answer. So it's just all that fancy is just parentheses minus parentheses. Make sure you distribute the negative one, then combine terms carefully. When you combine terms, letters, equals do not change, only the front number. You're just adding or subtracting. All right, the area of rectangle is that, the length is that, find the width. All right, so here's our first division problem. For division, I already showed you long division, but the shortcut is synthetic division. Synthetic division is if you have a factor right here, you get the root, and you put it in a box. I'm put a, if the factor is x plus 5, the root, the answer is negative 5. Then you do the coefficients of the dividend. So there's uh, degrees 3, there should be 4 terms, so there's one more than degree. The four numbers in descending order are 2 for x cubed. 9 for x squared, negative 33 for x, negative 140 for the constant. Remember the pattern for synthetic division is drop the first term. You're going to multiply them in the box. So I'm going to do 2 times negative 5 is negative 10. You add downwards, 9 minus 10 is negative 1. Multiply the number in the box, negative 1 times negative 5 is positive 5. Add downwards, that makes negative 28. Negative 28 times negative 5 is positive 140. Add downwards, 0. That's good, that means there's no remainder. We have to rewrite this equation, but it goes down one degree. So this first two, instead of going with x cubed, it goes with x squared. This negative one goes with x, and that minus 28 is my non-x term, and there's no remainder. So that is the width. Now sometimes you can keep factoring. Um, can we keep factoring here? 14, 2, no, 7, 4, Oops, maybe. All right, so they might want this answer. So that's the width, all right here. So now we can factor it, so I'm going to see if I can do my x method here, or uh, I'll do the x method, why not? 
For the X method, guess which X is faster, but uh, on top would be negative 56. On bottom would be negative 1. Um, 8 times 7 is, let me see, just checking it, 8 times 7, yep, 8 times 7 is 56. 8 times 7 is 56, 8 minus 7 is 1, so those are my numbers. The bigger number has to match the bottom, so it's negative 8, so this is the positive 7. Check, negative times positive negative, we're good. Do the parentheses, x minus 8, x plus 7. I divide by a, a here was 2. That reduces, this turns into x minus 4. This 2 goes to the front, 2x plus 7. So that's here. So we can do that. Or if they want the fully factored form, again, I don't know which answer they want, it would be this one. And you could have guessed and checked that. Right, they're both the width. So either of those or them are fine. All right, so synthetic division is a shortcut of doing division. And then if it's quadratic, you know how to do factoring. All right, number seven, same thing. We have x minus three is a divisor of that polynomial. What's the quotient? So we're dividing. Since it's a linear term, I'm going to do synthetic division. If that's the factor, I need the root, the solution, the answer, the x intercept. It's positive three. I just changed the sign. Um, here, degree is three. Add one to that. It's four. It should be four numbers. If there's numbers missing, put a zero. For the x to the third power, this number is five. For the x squared number is negative three. For the x number is negative 32. For the constant term is negative 12. I do the pattern. So you drop the first number. Then you multiply the number in the box. 5 times 3 is 15. Add downwards. That's positive 12. 12 times 3 is 36. Add down. That's positive 4. 4 times 3 is 12. Next, add down. That's 0. That's good. That's the remainder. All right. That's for write this equa equation out. So this 5, it was for x cubed. That's for x squared. Plus 12, that goes with x to the first power. Plus 4, that goes with nothing. And there's no remainder. So that is the quotient. So that's the answer. After we divide it, and again, we could try to see that factors further. Um, let's see, 5 times 4 is 20. 20 can be 10 and 2, that makes 12. So yes, I can keep going. I do the x method again. On top is positive 20. On bottom is positive 12. Two numbers is 10 and 2. 10 times 2 is 20. 10 plus 2 is 12. Bottom is positive. Bigger number is positive. You're at 10. You have to add 2 to get 12. Positive is positive. Positive. It checks out good. I do the parentheses. X plus 10. X plus 2. I divide by A. A this time was 5. So this will reduce to positive 2. It's no longer a fraction. This does not reduce. So this 5 goes to the front. It'll be 5x plus 2. So that's the same answer. So, or again, I don't know which answer they want. They might want the fully factored form, or they might want the polynomial. All right. So we could also guess and check that for pre-AP. So this is the same thing. All right. Eight. Okay. Which of the following system inequalities is graphed below? So we have a picture of graph. They're going to give you a picture of graph. You're going to hopefully use common sense first. Like I noticed both the lines are dotted. See that is dotted right here. And this is also dotted. So that means there's no equal signs. So I can cross out A because they have the wrong sign right there. And right there. There's two wrong signs. B has both open. Good. C has both open. Good. D, the first one's open, but the second one's closed. Equal. So that's wrong. All right. So these are B or C. And here. You just have to you can just graph it yourself, use test points, wherever you want. So y equals 2 is this dotted line. They're right. Right here. It's good. The test point 0, 0 should be true because it's the red line shade below. So by plugging 0, 0 here, 0 is greater than 2. That's false. So if I graph this one here for real, I should shade it up. That's out. If I do down here, 0 less than 2, that's true. That's why they shaded below. They shaded the 0, 0 side. They shaded all this down here. So we want it to be true. So this answer is C. All right. And uh, if it's true for both of them, for the first one, you'd have to then do the second one as well, uh, the second equation. All right. Next one. Find the solution to the following system of equations. Uh, three equations. 
it's an elimination format. There have to be letters lined up. So it goes A's, B's, C's, answers. I'm going to make a matrix for this. So I'm going to make a 3 by 4 I'll label the top A, B, C, answer. So it goes 2, 3, 5, 39. It goes negative 3, 8, negative 4, negative 59. 6, negative 4, positive 1. Just let it in 45. If letters missing, put a 0 there. I'm going to my calculator. So I'm going to press second matrix. Edit. 3 by 4. Type in carefully. So 2, 3, 5, 39. Negative 3, 8. Negative 4. Negative 59. 6, negative 4. 1, 45. Second quit. Second matrix. Math up to REF. Second matrix A. Enter. I get this. Now make sure you read it back. That first one goes to A. So 1A equals 5. So I'm going to write that. A equals 5. The second one, let me calculate Go Here it is. Uh, 1B equals negative 2. Good. And then the last one, 1C equals 7. That is my answer. You can make an order triple if you want. So you can say uh, 5, comma, negative 2, comma, 7. All right. Remember this. Getting back to it's very important. That last row, if it was uh, all zeros, that would be true. Zero equals zero, that's infinite solutions. If it was zero, 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 and then a one, meaning no letter equals, uh, so zero equals one, that's false, that's no solution. All right, 10. OK, we're just making sure. For 10, determine whether just the following points are uh, so this is a given system of inequalities. Here you saw a plug in to see if it's true or not. So I'm plugging the first one, negative 5, 2, into this first equation to see if it's good or not. So it would be 2 times x is 5, minus 3 times negative 2, that's going to equal to 10. That's going to be 10 plus 6, that's going to equal to 10. That's 16, less than equal to 10. That's false. 16 is bigger than 10. So that's out. We are not using that one. All right, I'll try the next one. Once we're on space, I'll erase it. So it'll be 2 times x. x is negative 3. Minus 3 times y is 0. That's nice. That's equal to 10. That's negative 6 minus 0. That's equal to 10. That is true. A negative less than a positive is true. So let's check the first one. I'm going to try the second one. y was 0. Less than 3 times x is negative 3 plus 9. 0 less than negative 9 plus 9. 0 is less than 0? Nope. If it had the equal sign, it would be true, but this is false. Because it failed, this also is out. So the first two are out. I'm going to try the next two. So I'm going to erase. It's got a new space. Right. Yeah, I'll erase it. Alright. Next one, negative 2, negative 4. Let's try that. So 2 times negative 2 minus 3 times negative 4. So you go to 10. Negative 4 plus 12 less than equal to 10. 8 less than equal to 10. True. I'll put a check mark. Try the next one. Y. So that's negative 4 less than 3 times negative 2 plus 9. That's negative 4 less than negative 6 plus 9. Negative 4 is less than positive 3. That's also true. Oh, good. I'll try one more. X. So that's negative 2 minus 4. It's greater than 2 times Y. Negative 6 is greater than negative 8. That also is true. So that's good. That's one of them. I'm the exact same thing for the last equation. So let's try the blue one. Let's try 4. All right. 2 times 2 minus 3 times negative 2 less than or equal to 10. 4 plus 6 less than or equal to 10. 10 less than or equal to 10. That's true because there's an equal sign. So that's that first one. I'll try this next one. So negative 4 less than 3 times negative 2 plus 9. Negative 4 less than negative 6 plus 9. Negative 4 less than 3. That is true. I'll try the last one. Uh, 2 minus 4 and then 2 times negative 2. That is negative 2 is greater than negative 4. That's also true. So that's true. Both of these are my answers. 3 and 4. And I'll stop this video here. Just going to do the part 3 next.